So here I want to quickly locate a spool, a specific spool. Um, this could be based on the number that's written on the spool out on site. Um, most, most prefabricated parts have a number or a sticker or something to identify what they are. Um, the way we would go about that in Revisto is come in here, go to property conditions, and then I know I'm looking for something to do with spool, so I can just type that in. It's going to automatically fill this out for me. And then this is awesome because I have a, a list of all my spools in the whole project. So I can actually start searching this now. Um, if I know it's waste and vent, I can type in waste and vent. Um, I can come over here and I can grab that spool and I could say find all. And I don't even necessarily need to know how to, to get, get around to this. You know, I can isolate this in transparency. Then I'm going to use my selection inspector. Here's all the parts in that specific spool. It looks like it's a pretty decent sized spool. Um, but I can click this little play button and it's going to take me right to my, right to my pieces and parts in my spool. So now I can zoom out a little bit there. So that's a real quick and easy way. Um, I can actually isolate this all the way down. And now I have a, a complete spool isometric of that spool 09WV028. And I can use my Revisto 5 properties to just kind of hover over this and check my links, my bottom elevations, you know, whatever you have set in your favorite properties here. That's what you're gonna see in your pop-up. Now that we've found this um, particular spool, maybe we want to make sure we, we connect everything above and below this. So we're going to start on our riser. Um, and this is kind of a more advanced workflow of Revisto 5. But basically I can grab a couple pieces like that. Maybe I want to grab this P-trap to get some extents. Um, and then I can hit the scissor tool and that's going to set up a section box. And I like to take this and just go all the way up with it. And I'm going to and I'm going to un-isolate this now that we have this cropped down with a section box. I'm just going to follow this all the way up. And it, you can hold control and get to that back side and, and push and pull this down further. So now you see right there, I made a nice um, solid view of that riser. Let's actually go all the way over here to this riser. Make sure we get all the pipes. There I have a nice solid prefabrication view of that riser that we just found the spool for. Okay. So um, at this point, I'm going to close my edit section tool and then I'm going to open my binoculars here. I find object dialog again. And I'm going to add a condition. I'm going to go by search box. And you're going to see that's going to regurgitate that search box we just made. Maybe I want to pull that up a little bit and say done. And now I can save this off as a new set. We're going to call this um, custom riser say okay and so now this is going to be saved in my find object dialog if I want to find a specific system out of this I can just come over here click a pipe and then I find basically the system in here that I want to go off of so let's dig down into all these parameters a little bit um, you can see there's all kinds of different parameters that come in um, depending on what your your goal is by the end of this, there's our spool parameter. Um, you can pull in a ton of different stuff. But basically, I want to find everything waste and vent, and I'm seeing it, I'm seeing waste and vent right here. So I'm gonna add this to my current search set. And then I'm gonna use what's called a wild card. So I can change this to a wild card, and then I can make a custom parameter here where I can do star. And I want everything waste and vent. So star means up to W and then B star means past B. So that should find everything waste and vent in here. Let's give it a test. There we go. So I just grabbed all the waste and vent in this section box. Um, and you can see I've got 276 items selected. If I collapse this down and pull up my selection inspector, I actually have all of that in my selection inspector over here now. And I can actually export this out to a CSV if I'd like to. So I can send that to Excel, open this up, and right there's all my data um, ready to go.
right in CSV format. Um, but the really cool part about this, now that we have that defined, um, I'm going to come in here and add a custom property to these, to all these parts I have selected. So I'm going to say custom property, status, installed, and I've been doing a Boolean type, which gives you just yes or no. So I'm going to set this all default to no. So now all of those pieces and parts have a custom property um, that says it's not installed. So now we don't have our appearance profile templates yet, but once we do, I'll be able to come in here and if I just tweak one of these colors real quick, I'll be able to run my appearance profiler. But there I can run my appearance profiler and I just quickly turned everything that's not installed red. So now um, there's one way to track parts and, and start turning these to installed. I can come in here and say show common properties and then I can right click on this, say edit custom property and then say yes. Um, and then I'd rerun rerun this and again when we have appearance profile templates you'll be able to just click apply, apply real quick so that's a, a quick way to do individual parts but you can see it take forever to click all these parts so what i propose for you to do is teach your guys because they're always going to be building from bottom up you know so teach teach your field crew to come down here and grab just like we did to make this rice come up here and grab a few parts that they installed maybe they got right up to this point you know so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna set up my section tool again and they can also like crop this down nice and tight if they want close that out and then do the same thing come over here and drop your old section box out of here add condition section box and it's going to use our new section box I say done and then I'm going to do the same thing find all the waste and vent in this new section box come up here to my properties show common properties and then I'm going to click here and um, let's go ahead and make sure that that property gets added in there and say done and then I want to tweak this again so it, it gives me the option to apply it. Say apply. And now you can see I just turned everything in there green. If I uncrop this, everything above that should be red. So really simple, um, easy way to start tracking status using Revista. Um, and if I ever want to get back to that, I'm going to come in here and use my find item dialog again. And let's say I want to get back to that entire set. Um, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to search set. And I'm going to use that custom riser one that we saved earlier. I'm going to find all. I can quickly crop that down again if I want. Um, now I can walk around this thing. If I click off of here, I can walk around and see how far we're installed. Real easy. I can also come in here and if I say find all, get my selection inspector again um, I'll be able to come down here and see my my status property right here so I could see specific pieces and parts and if I collapse everything down and give you a little better view here I can start checking on individual parts you know let's click off of that um, and what's cool about this is using something like Kobe data tools or something um, if I export this to CSV and save that and open this up I could actually run a little macro here to get my cut links you know so we could actually run a calculation real quick on this row and get all of our linear footage that we need of piping I could have a, a direct cut list of pieces and parts I need and then using something like Kobe tools so my individual parameter for each item is over here so these are unique marks that Revit gives every single piece and part so I could actually map this out and go in and add this status back to Revit via this um, unique identifier over here. And same thing for anything else you need. If you're adding custom status, if you're adding RFI numbers, change order stuff, we're able to push those back into our parts. 
So I hope you enjoyed these little hacks for Revisto. Um, I am very excited to, to start having a visual kind of progress track inside of Revisto. Um, it seems like a logical next step for, for people that are using it with their field crews um, to really manage and communicate with the whole team, you know, where you're at on a job. And if we put this into all of our parts, you could imagine I could just run this appearance profiler. Everything that's not installed is red. Everything that is is green. And maybe everything that's not yet spooled or something is gray. And we can start running through a project and really get a feel for where we're at.